This is Ben, Liam and Bell on Nova. G'day there, podcaster. I see. You say this. You've come here because you want to hear a man squirming in pain. Mm Mm-hmm. Man getting a 12 mil bar pushed through his nip. Well, that's but what you're going to hear. Behind the one. scenes, I mean, on radio, it's a 12 mil. It was a 10 mil bar. Oh, I thought but it was what? a 12 mil. No, 12 mil was the one because you said to them, what's the biggest bar you can get? And they said 12 mil, we got to work up to it. You can't just go from a oh, 10 right. to a 12. Because that one, 10 mil is thick enough. Like, I don't know why you would want 12, unless you had really thick nippies, I suppose. I also think that no. they were talking about the length no, it's of the, the length. bar. Do you know how big 12 width. mil 12 is? mil would oh, be yeah, yeah, right. that's, one point two centimeters. Yeah. That, that's like that's, that would <laughs> that would literally tear my nipple in, yeah, in half. So yeah, no, we're talking yeah. length, not yeah, girth. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, all I'm saying is the girth on it was the wild you know. thing about just quickly because I, I I talk about this in the podcast. Yeah, you hear it all, um, but just for for the podcaster when I when I did take it out, basically it's got two balls on the end, and one of the balls screws off, so I screw the ball off. But the gross thing was, as I was pulling the bar back out through my bleeding nipple, the the ball the screws on with the thread. The thread, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it was almost like a cheese grater. Yeah. As I was pulling it out, I was cheese grating the inside yeah. of my nipple. No, yes, there's a lot of parts of piercings that... <laughs> and I was in the car. I was in the car by myself going, ah! <laughs> Also, because I pulled, because I started pulling the bar out, and I was like, "Okay, this hurts, but it's not too bad." And then I saw the thread, and I was like, "I, I, I was like," <laughs> Ooh, <brother. laughs> and it kind of, it kind of pulls, and yeah, it pulls the skin in the skin, yeah, and it goes with goes it, with it, it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you forget about the thread. Mm, yeah, you do. Oh, good times. Anyway, enjoy the podcast. <laughs> hey, good morning, Melbourne. Back live yesterday. It was a best of show uh, because it was Bell Jackson's birthday. Observed. Uh, we all took the day off for it. So uh, actual um, birthday Sunday. Yeah. Observed on Monday. Happy birthday to you, Bell. No, no. It was Liam's Bucks on Saturday and you needed two days of recovery for some reason. How was the Bucks? Bucks, Bucks was good, Bell. Uh, yeah. Bucks was good. What happens to the Bucks stays the Bucks. Mm. Um, I can only imagine. But uh, Ben Ben did come, which was nice. Ben yes. came over for it. We had um, bets on how long Ben would stay. Yeah. he sta- I, I was there for, for 20 plus hours um, and Ben was there for five hours, which was actually mm. like better than I thought. Uh, but however, he did ghost because we had like a bus that was taking us from brewery to brewery. Yeah. And then we're doing like, you know, semi, like the driver would do a head count and they're like, we're missing one. And I was like, he's gone. He's, he must have gone. I was like, there's no need to wait for him. him. I, reckon, I reckon, Liam, you were the reason I left as well because we were at the third brewery. Yeah. And I don't know if you even remember this, but uh, I'd, I'd had enough. Like, I'd had enough talking to people. <laughs> so I went over to where nobody was. There was to a food, food truck. I yeah. went over to the You're food truck. Like Mexican food or something? And I sat by myself. And I was no, like, I'm going to chill over here for a bit by myself. And then... You came over for a chat, which is fine. I can handle you. And then because you were there, the buck, <laughs> everyone came over. Okay, and, I was like, and I was like, this yeah. is too much. I ate my food. And then I was talking to someone. I can't remember who it was. I was talking to someone. And I was like, I'm just going to do a wee. And then I went to the toilet and then never came back. Wow. <laughs> Left through the back what? window. Yeah. <laughs> I originally said that you'd only make two yep. breweries. So to make three, yeah. very good, I ben. stayed at Liam's longer than my own. Yeah, so no, that I, is I, I gave, true. I gave it my best That go. is fair. Now, I, can act- I do actually have memories now. Have you like really angrily eating food? <laughs> Get away from me! I think you had two meals, right? You had two. I did. I did really? right? Yeah. I had, no, I had a, I had a load of chips. Yeah. And then I had like these chicken satay skewer things. Oh my gosh, that yeah. is death on a plate. But I just wow. needed my own, I needed my alone time, and then everyone came over. While I was eating yeah. my food, and I was like, I'm in hell. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Butt shows aren't really for alone time <laughs> food. You know. That's great. He wants to do so many things before Ben Harvey turns 30. 30 things before he's 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 30. In just under 20 days, Ben Harvey is going to turn 30 years old. And once that happens, he'll never get his 20s back. That's why we want to do 30 new things before he turns 30. Uh, people have been getting involved, building the list with Bell and myself. Uh, so far, he's nailed a half-court shot. He's drunk some breast milk. Uh, we invented a secret handshake. He did a pedicure. Um, you got on a number one radio show last week. We did that by calling a mm-hmm. show that's actually number one. Our show is not that. Uh, and on Friday, um, after someone suggested you get a piercing, we went down to see our good mates at Off Your Tree. Mm. And uh, they gave you a little bit of a nip piercing. Um, how is it feeling at the moment? Well, can I say um, that out of all the things I've done for 30 Before 30, um, this was by far the one I was scared of the most. 
The other things for me are things that I haven't done, mm. but I wasn't scared. I yeah. must admit, like, yeah, I was, you know, a lot of them have been like, haha, that funny. And I was like, oh, you're going to get a piercing. But then when I was actually, I, I was there next to you, Ben, yep. like holding your hand yep. through it. And then the reality sunk in of like, oh, they're actually going to put like a needle through his nip and then put a big well, 12 mil bar through it. I wasn't there with you guys, but mm. um, like I've had my belly button done. Yep. And I imagine it would be the same where they put like the rod through well, well, and then they follow through uh-huh. with the piercing. Uh-huh, yeah. They do. And I remember when I was a kid, I've never had any piercings before. And I said to my dad, oh, I want to get an ear, my ear pierced. And he said, well, come over here and I'll do it for you. And he had a, a thumbtack. <laughs> And I think from there, I've always been like, I don't really want any bits of metal going through my body. And even then, when you think about your earlobe, for me, that's palatable. Like, I can go, oh, yeah, my earlobe, it's a bit of fleshy skin, not a big deal. Yeah. Nipple. That's the same. Horrifying. No, nipple. It's is, horrifying. You know, it's such it's a sensitive area. You know? Yeah. Very sensitive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, this is how it went on Friday when Ben got his nipple pierced. It's very quick. Okay, I've had no piercings before in my life. Is this your first piercing? First piercing. I've gone straight to nipple. You went hardcore. Yeah. Okay. Straight to nip. <laughs> <laughs> Which side do you want to do? Left. Left? I always had you down as a right pierced nipple kind of guy. I can go right if you want. Nah, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to hold my hand? Yeah, sure, of course. All right, this is it just the clump. <laughs> 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 Oh, you got it really right in there, eh? Oh, 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 I didn't know it was happening. Don't look at it, don't look at it. Oh, Jesus. There's going to be another little pinch, right? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know it was going to happen so quick. I thought there'd be a lot of build up. I thought we'd talk about it. Oh, yeah. I thought there'd be a countdown, maybe. Yeah, it really happened. <laughs> Does it look cool? So cool, man. <laughs> so cool. Whoa. That was my wedding ring. <laughs> so you will oh. notice in the next couple of months that it's going to be quite swollen. You don't have. Big fat juicy nips. Okay. So you should be fine. Um, Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> now I know what my wife feels like when she gave birth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know like that maybe. That like, is wait, so wait. fair. Oh, does it look cool? <laughs> yeah, dude, it looks, it looks so sick. cool. Yeah, it looks sick. Lou thinks it looks sick. <laughs> I think you should get the other one. <laughs> okay, time to go. There you go. 30 before 30. That is Ben getting a nipple piercing. You can see it on the Ben, Liam and Bell socials if you want now. There's a nice close-up photo there on the Instagram of Ben's nip. Um, probably could have shaved mm. him a little bit before we did that. Oh, that's all right. I couldn't believe the pain. You know what I mean? Like, So just without being too descriptive, but I will be, to paint a picture for you, if you've never had one done before, they clamp it, mm. right? So they clamp the very tip of the so nip. they got to make it flat so the they can yeah. go through. So they, so they flatten out the nip. Mm. A pancake. With like, it looks like a set of like barbecue tongs essentially. Mm. <laughs> but then on the end of the tongs, there's a little hole on both sides. Yeah. So that's almost like the guide for the needle. And then they freehand push a needle in. So they clip the nip. They push the needle through, right? Then they release the clamp. And then you think that's like, that's the painful part. No, 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 no. The painful part's the second part when they have a needle in your nipple and then they push the needle out with the bar that you're getting, the piercing, that's way bigger than the needle. So then <laughs> it goes from thick. being the size of a needle yeah. hole to being t- was it a 12 mil bar. Yeah, I think we went the biggest bar because biggest... we thought it looked cooler. So, so then they ran that through and really stretch it open. I love that you've tra- you finally experienced oh. this. It's fantastic. Well, that's um, what it's all about, did isn't you, it? Did you, like, what, were you watching? No, I it? was looking at Liam's face and he was making it hurt more because he was like, oh. <laughs> I think I said that. I said, don't look at it, don't look at it. it was Why were you watching it? Sorry, it wasn't nice. Nice. No, no, it didn't look good. It didn't look good at all. No. Can I see it? How's it going? Well, I took it out. What? I took it out. What? Already? It was, hurt, it was hurting a lot. It was like throbbing. That's what it does. That's that. What you think you're going to get a piercing? Well, yeah, but Bill, I never got. I never. Like I never got the piercing to keep it. I it goes. Got... It goes really hot and it throbs for a bit. That sounds horrible. You just. You just, you just that push horrible. through it. I suppose he te- technically he I had got the, the He no. had the experience of getting pierced. Yeah. So he's, How yeah. quick after did you pull it out? The day of. What the? Later that day, I was driving home and I was like, "This is killing me." And it's a so, piercing. Yes. Yeah, I know, but I I didn't want it in there, because for me, I was like, if I leave this in even for a week. And then it starts to heal. 
it's going to hurt even more when I pull it out. So I was like, I'm just going to pull it out now while it's all fat and swollen. Can I, um, can I see? Is it like yeah, a hole? It doesn't, doesn't look Is it bleeding? Much. No, oh, what see, a letdown. You can see the hole where oh, it went yeah, through. But uh, yeah. Not really. I um, actually, so, because uh, Liam, you and I, we had to go into state for your bucks, mm. um, which involved a plane flight. And I'd forgotten that I took it out and I put it in my pocket. And then when I was going through security, oh, right. I put my phone, my keys, my wallet in the little tray and I walked through and it beeped. And they were like, oh, sorry, sir, you got a belt on? I was like, yeah, I took the belt off, walked back through, it beeped again. Oh. They're like, oh, you're going to have to do the scan. And so they had the little, boop, 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 the yeah. little wand, and then it was beeping in my pocket. And he's like, what have you got in there? And I was like, nothing. And he's like, well, there's something in oh. there. And so I reached in, and I was like, oh, and I pulled it out. And he's like, what's that? And I was like, that's my nipple piercing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, there's still blood on it. Gross. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, uh, Marvin joins us now in Churnside Park. You have a suggestion, something Ben should do before he turns 30. Good morning, Ben. Also, happy birthday. Oh, oh. Uh, I know you're turning 30 soon. Yep, so thank I've you. So I've got a challenge for you. Uh-huh. I'd like you to do a 10-meter dive. Oh, ah. off the diving yeah. board. Yes. Yes, yes. At the diving board at the MSAC. Mm. Yeah, there is one at MSAC. I was thinking there's one at Harold Holt. 10 meters is very I, high. I think I've done the 5-meter, and I honestly, that that's scary because that's higher than your average jetty <laughs> jump, but yeah. ten, 10 is like... That seems dangerous. Yeah, especially when you when you say dive. I mean, can you can you no, dive? No, 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 I'm not going to be no, diving. No, right, diving. Yeah. I think I'll die if I dive. It's <laughs> like elite training. Well, I'm glad if you, if, you, if you so you just ju- <laughs> jump. Well, you still have to pin Don't drop. Triple flip. You have to pin drop because if you land yeah. on your front or your back, you'll be yeah, stuck. I can pin drop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and I'm I'm sort of glad you got the the nipple ring out now because that could end up <laughs> you rip it off. That uh, might end up, you know, two meters above you. Actually, right <laughs> or I don't know if you're allowed to go in chlorine after you've had your piercing. I'll be right. Wash it out. No, it. it doesn't nah, work it should like wash that. It out. Nah. That's what no. chlorine, chlorine kills germs, Bill. Yeah, I think after a piercing for like a few days. <laughs> Not worried about that. Okay. Well, that could be, you know, number eight on the list. Get a brutal infection um, <laughs> around your chest. Um, well, Marvin, thank you for calling up. We'll give you a $150 voucher to Soul Origin. I like that. I reckon we head out to the pool today, mm-hmm. and then tomorrow on the show, you will hear Ben pin dropping from 10 or, metres. Or I, diving. I must admit, I, I think I would almost rather the nipple piercing than the 10 metre. I don't know. I'm, I reckon you're right. I'm not a real heights guy. Like, All right. I don't well, know. I we'll don't... see how I go on the 10 metre board tomorrow morning. You're only a what if away from a holiday with whatif.com. You could go to the dentist appointment or all the kids' sports. But what if it was a weekend on the coast instead? Book hotels, holiday rentals, apartments and more. What if it's Aussie for travel? Rude shock for my family yesterday, Ben and Bell. I landed in Melbourne after a flight from Adelaide and uh, took my phone off the airplane mode because I was doing the right thing. And I had... Nerd. You guys don't. You okay, guys. Ben. You, you don't put it on airplane mode. Of course, you put it on airplane mode. What if, what if you take Hang the on. plane down? Never put it on airplane mode. Never crashed. That's just, that's definitely. Oh you come definitely on! Everyone out in the airplane. producer booth putting their hands up in the air. Like come on! My wife Sam also gets angry at me for doing it. It's not a big deal. I yeah. once heard someone's phone ringing during a flight, and I thought the plane was going to go down. Did it go down? It didn't. <laughs> no. It's just a thing they tell you to do so that you use their in-flight entertainment. That's no, what, that's that's no, what. Why? That is why. That's not That why. is why. No, it's not. That's 100% why. They make you put it on flight They've been mode doing that so forever. that you use the in-flight entertainment. <laughs> wow, grumpy dad Ben is already here. Either way. Prove we, me wrong. We're getting sidetracked. <laughs> I've, take, I've taken my phone off airplane mode because I did the right thing. Good citizen. Don't <laughs> want to bring the plane down. And I had like 20 missed calls. I was like, oh my God, what happened? So, so what happened, right, is that I've got, I've got an Apple Watch. And I had it in my checked luggage. And as we've seen, at times, baggage handlers aren't the most cautious folk mm. with bags. So what, what's happened is obviously someone's yeeted my bag <laughs> and like thrown it into a plane. And then the watch thinks I'm dead. So this is a real text that was sent to my fiance, mum and dad. Whoa. Crash detected. SOS. Liam Stapleton called emergency services from this location after Apple Watch detected a crash. Oh, my God. You are receiving this message because Liam has listed you as his emergency contact. So they all start rapidly calling me. <laughs> Nerd. Have you listed your parents and your fiancé as emergency contacts in your phone? <laughs> okay, mate. I mean, this is besides the point. aren't even in the same state as you. Well, I'd like to know yeah, that. If I did crash, I'd that. like them to know, oh, who's your emergency contact on your phone? I haven't ever done that. Well, guess what? If you crash, no one's going to know about it, mate. You're just going to die alone.
At least my parents will find out if oh, I've had a crash. I can't believe you've done that. Anyway, sorry, no, that is... So this is not... <laughs> <laughs> this is... Uh, I, thought, I thought no one would even pick up the fact that I had the emergency contacts. And uh, to be honest, Ben, I think you were one of my emergency contacts at some point, but I, I took you out of that. I like when you get your phone, you turn it on, set it up for the first time, and you go, okay, put my mum's in there, put my dad in there, put my fiance Sarah in there. Oh, it's very cute. What? You guys oh, don't I have love... emergency contacts? Everyone you... needs emergency contacts. If you did have Ben as your emergency contact and he got that text, he'd sit there and go, eh. I've got emergency contacts if I fill out like a medical form and you have to put something on there, but I'm not doing that on my phone. I don't, yeah, I don't have that on my phone. I bet you do. I reckon you have to put one in. You don't have to. I think when you set up your iPhone, you've got to put one in. That's what nerds think. Uh, Okay. Well, look, it's besides the point. I think you're forgetting the story here where all my my parents and fiance (laughs) thought I was dead. Literally, they thought I was in a plane crash or car crash (laughs) because it sent it out a location and then they all were calling me and calling each other and they couldn't get on to me. Oh my God, is that a crash? Like, Mm. and because my. I was doing the right thing. My phone was on airplane mode. Yeah, but your watch wasn't on airplane mode. Yeah, but it was so... in. It was in my checked luggage, so it was in like the bottom of the thing. Could so and it was the sending out the oh, yeah. SOS signal. Um, but uh, it was just like a pain in the ass because I'm like, obviously there couldn't have been enough force for it to really think that I was in the crash. I, I don't know. I, I wonder because I know that feature exists with the mm. Apple Watch. I wonder if that's actually ever saved somebody's life, like the Apple Watch feature. Yeah, because I just thought I was like, how annoying, stupid watch. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good point. If I know the Apple Watch, it can detect car crashes. I think it can also. I think it, if your blood pressure drops mm. or like your heartbeat drops yeah. rapidly, I think it can tell you, hey, something's wrong. Like you could be having a heart attack, or like it gives you because it monitors your heartbeat yes. and that sort of stuff. You obviously have to be wearing it for that. But why don't we do this this morning? Thirteen twenty four ten. Did your Apple Watch save your life? Whoa. Or or smartwatch in general. No, I won't be speaking to Android. <laughs> hey, Garmin. Garmin. I don't want any Garmin calls. I don't calls. want Garmin calls. <laughs> I don't want Samsung same. calls. We only want iOS. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. We're Tim Cook guys. Garmin. Yeah, no, I would accept any smartwatch. Yeah, well, look, yeah. Did you did your smartwatch or device or even phone if it's yep. just in your pocket? Well, did it, hang on, did it now save we're your life? <laughs> did did a device save your life? Uh, Pam in Hillsville, did it save your life? Um, it did save my life, I would say. Um, I have just been in a car crash like two and a half weeks ago, mm. and my Apple Watch called triple zero for me and even put my phone on loudspeaker so I could talk to them in the event I wouldn't be able to pick up my phone. Oh my wow. God. So was it, what, what is it that it detects to then do that? Was it just a sudden stop or did it get like hit really hard? Um, well, hit really hard, and the impact um, basically triggered my my Apple Watch to um, yeah call the emergency services and also contact my emergency contacts. So they all got text messages um, yeah. with my location, and then even like um, moved around. Like when I moved, um, my Apple Watch then told them where I was going until I physically stopped it in the end. Because uh-huh. my friend was like, "Are you okay?" Um, I'm still getting your messages. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm yeah, okay. wow, Pam. Pam, I hope you're okay now. Uh, you, you've, you've recovered all right from the from the crash? Yeah. Oh, well, I was thankfully fine, but in my car, obviously. Um, yeah. A bit of a ride off. Mm, yeah, no good. <laughs> also nice to know that other people have their loved ones as emergency contacts, and I'm not a big loser. It, I wonder, though, like this sounds great that it does call emergency services, but like Ambos and stuff, are they are they getting a lot of calls that well, are just That's true. Just alarms? thinking Is now. Is that a waste of resources? My text, I've got my phone in front of me. It said emergency services called, but. You're like, I wasn't in an mm. accident, but were they? I mean, I didn't hear mm. from them. I wonder, if, I wonder if they, they were get? freaking out going like, sir, sir, and they, were just, they weren't yeah, getting a response yeah. back. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Jason uh, joins us now. Your your life was saved by an Apple Watch. Yeah, g'day, guys. How are you going? Good, thanks, well. um, Jason. I was uh, um, cleaning the gutters around the house with a pressure washer, yeah. and I got to a spot where the ladder wasn't... Um, as secure as it should be, and I was up against the neighbour's fence. Yeah. Climbed up the ladder, used the pressure washer, but as soon as I pulled the trigger, the, the force of it pushed me uh, back, and I uh, fell over the top of the fence. I was about almost two metres off the ground. And, um, yeah, the, um, the watch detected a, what it called a hard fall mm. and uh, called triple O. And, uh, and uh, thankfully, ambulance came and picked me up, took me into hospital for five days, and Sorted me out. Oh my god! Whoa. Five five days. So you were you in like a coma or an induced coma or? No, no, no. I just I'd, I'd cut my head open and um, <sighs> I'd also dislocated my sh- um, 
uh, collarbone. Oh. I had broken ribs, um, shoulder blades, and um, vertebrae, cracked vertebrae. Oh, well. wow. Jason. I mean, so that's you know that's a fair injury there. So were you in a state where you could have called triple zero, or no. were you cold? You were out of it. You were out. No, of it. I was in too much pain. I was just. I I remember just lying on the ground just moaning and like in that shock as well you know and the uh, the voice came from my watch saying hello can you hear me your apple watch has detected a hard fall do you require an ambulance um and uh i don't i don't think i even talked to it i just kept <laughs> i was just moaning because it was, it was oh, yeah. so much pain yeah and um yeah it, and they sent a, sent a message to my wife telling her that i'd had a hard fall told her where i was and it was interesting too because uh she didn't acknowledge it on the phone. She just came straight outside to see where I was. But um, when the ambulance came, um, I think two turned up actually, and they um, took me away. It kept updating her as to my new location as I as I travelled off to the hospital. So that's yeah, wow. super. Yes, I mean, I, yeah, as I said, I thought it was a bit of a pain in the ass because it was a bit of a false alarm for me. But yeah, it may well have saved your life, especially if you. Yep. Did you say you were, were you bleeding from the head as well? Yeah, yeah, really bad. So, that, yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that could have literally gone another way, Jason. So, I'm yeah, assuming, right. Jace, these, how long ago was that? Was it a while ago? Was it recent? Yeah, it was, uh, I think it was about September 2020. Okay. okay. Yeah, all right. So, so, yeah, do you still, wear, ago, do you still was, wear a smartwatch to this day? Uh, every day. I'm not sure why Liam was putting his in his bag, you know. Who buys a watch? <laughs> That's you know, true. Who it's buys true. a watch for your wrist and then stores it in a bag? You know? Yeah, it's a good point, Jace. It's a good point. Do you Where's did you do you still wear the watch that you were wearing when you fell, or did you upgrade to a newer model? Um, I've, I can't remember. I think I think I'm still wearing it. It's, I get the new the updates, you know, software updates. Yeah, right, right. Um, I, I have had it go off just once when I didn't need it. I was uh, riding a motorbike, yeah, um, out on country road and hit it and it hit a bump in the road, yeah. And because um, I had my phone in a uh, cradle in front of me, and I could see it dialing the number, and when you're riding a bike, you can't interact with it. So I knew what it was doing, and I was glad, but I didn't want to interrupt anyone. So I, you know, got off to the side of the road as quick as I could. But it, but it had already dialed through, and they were on the line. And I said, "Look, I'm really sorry. I'm okay." Yeah. Oh, that's um, good. It's Jason yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Well, thank you so much uh, for getting in touch. That's an incredible story. Um, Bell, your your smartwatch. I, I don't know if it could call the authorities if if you had an accident. The one uh, Bell's I rocking a circa a... 08. I reckon it would just be like. I can tell you're oh, in an accident, my, but I can't do anything about a, it. Bell would be lucky if you could call Alexander bit. Graham Bell. It's like one of those old school ones. It's, it's a Fitbit, so no, it doesn't. Call. Hard fall detected. Too bad. <laughs> it does not have cellular capabilities. It's 610. Hallelujah, it's 610. Marcelo in Trenton. Good morning. How you doing? Good, how are you? Eh, not too bad at all. Let's kick into it. Five questions here. Miss, Melissa Leong has been replaced by Poe on MasterChef. Uh, who did she come second to in the first season of the show? Uh, Julie? Yes. It was Julie. Well done. Julie uh, did a stint of radio as well for a while out at uh, CFM, I reckon, with Rabbit. I think yeah, she's I reckon, in the still Central cooking. Coast. She's still cooking out there, I think. Is she still on yeah, that? Yeah, no, she's she uh, on what, on radio? Yeah, still cooking. Star. Yeah, I, I get how it's, that's Wasn't, confusing because yes. I said she's still cooking. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, yeah. I'm, I mean, she's, yeah, she's still yeah. pedaling along on radio. I yeah, don't sorry, know. it wasn't CFM, it was Star FM. Star my FM. My correction. It's one of them. Hey, uh, everyone's talking about how long the new Martin Scorsese film is, The Killers of the Flower Moon. I just, I, I feel like I knew it was going to be a long one. I, had, I didn't even check the running time, but I was like, I was going to watch it, but I could tell it was going to be long. It's nearly four hours long, mate. How's this? How many minutes are in four hours? Hmm. 240 minutes. That's good. That's good, Marcelo. Hey, Australia <laughs> is more than 50% cashless now, a new report has revealed. What money denomination has the nickname pineapple? What money denomination? Yeah, right. you, know, you call it a pineapple. You might say Don Bradman as well or a so, lobster. So, Marcelo, if I say you got a pineapple, how much you got? 50 bucks? Yeah, 50 bucks, yeah. Yellow. Uh, Vera Wang has admitted she eats Maccas every single day, even though she's one of those people who's like 80 and she looks like she's 20. It's really weird. Surely she's not eating Maccas every day. Uh, Well, what industry is she famous in, Vera Wang? Fashion. Fashion. 
Jeez, we're going to go five for five here. You're switched on. I like this. 25 years ago today, Britney Spears released this banger. Can you finish the lyrics? Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, I thought you were going to forget it. Oh. He's done it. Imagine, yeah, imagine Hit falling me. over. Uh, <laughs> baby? Uh, well done, Marcelo. Five for five. You've absolutely dominated there. That means uh, you are walking away with six bottles of wine from Zonzo Estate. Enjoy a perfect drop in the heart of the Yarra Valley. You also get to choose the next song we play this morning. So, Belle, I know you were very excited to put a song up for nomination. Yeah, so... Marcelo, tell me that you love this Samantha Mumba banger. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. I've never heard that. I've literally never heard that. Marcelo, have you heard that song before? Yeah, it's a bit of a tune. It's yeah, a okay, tune. yeah, okay, yeah, a bit of a tune. Okay. Is it as much of a tune as this, though? And that's about the time she walked away from me. Nobody likes you when you're 23. What's it going to be? Is it going to be Blink or Mumba, Marcelo? Now, look, because it was Belle's birth, I'm going to give it to her, Samantha Mumba. Whoa! Whoa! Yes! Cool. Anytime, Marcelo. Nice work. Thank also, you. Marcelo, appreciate that you um, also recognise Belle's birthday. Um, of course, <laughs> yesterday, I'm sure you had a day off work. No need to check if you did or not. We all did. Yeah, uh, Belle's birthday observed. Uh, I'm assuming it's like an every year thing. Yeah. It's just, yeah, Belle gets put yeah. on a bit of a strop and we don't all acknowledge her yes, birthday. Yes, yes. Uh, look, I must, I must admit, the Ned's app was paying 400 to 1 yeah. for Mumba to beat Blink. <laughs> but it got up. It got up. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta say, I think it's the same for you, Ben. I think that's the first time I've ever heard that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I really? Know, just, uh, Ash in the newsroom, that's also blowing you away. I or? cannot believe that. This is crazy. You're acting like you've got a Samantha Mumba tattoo on your back. Like, it's like, it's like, it's like, I, you know what I mean? I don't think she's the biggest artist in the world, right? Like, Not the biggest in the world, but... but year 2000, she was massive. Yeah, I, I was live then. I still don't remember that. Yeah. Right. Le- Do you know... Liam was also four. Oh, I was yeah. four. Yeah, that, that is true. Well, so, yeah. um, Ash, this won't come as a surprise to you then, but that song, Gotta Tell You... It's amazing that you hadn't heard it because it actually peaked at number three on the charts. It oh, was only beaten number out. Number three on the charts? <laughs> it was only beaten out by Madonna. Yeah. Well, I will say that the Samantha Mumba song is better than this Madonna song. Are you serious? Oh, hang on. That's a whole other kettle of fish. This song is amazing. Is it? I mean, she's got some great songs, but I wouldn't put this in her top Whoa. ten. Oh, well, how dare you speak ill? Oh, sorry. Do we want to do some facts of Samantha Mumba? Because I was well, just going to go like through some things. It seems like you're <laughs> launching into the back catalogue of facts um, you wanted to do for a while. Well, yeah, I just did some quick Googling because I haven't thought about Samantha in, a you know, 20 years. But did you know her full name is Samantha Tasmania and Cecilia Mumba? Is she Australian? She's born in Ireland, so not born in Tass- Tassie, but okay. nice name. Yeah. Um, and back in the day, the hot couple of the moment mm. was her and Cisco. Let me see that song. Now that's a banger. <laughs> Am I crazy? Am I misremembering? Did we interview Cisco? No. We didn't? No. A guy did it for like a version. No, but I thought that we spoke to him about it. I don't know if we spoke did to Cisco, know. man. Yeah, I don't know. It was covered one time. Someone did the thong song? Yeah, they did, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thong, is... thong, thong, thong. Yep. Yeah, wow. Well, there uh, you go. That concludes our Samantha Mumba Mumba facts. Hang on. So, yeah. They're your facts. Your facts That's was she's facts. born in Ireland and her middle name is Tasmania. I was like, that seems like a quick yeah. Wikipedia search. Bill, kind of, uh... you're banned from doing facts in the future. <laughs> yeah. No more facts from you. That was. More? I feel like we were scratching the surface. <laughs> well, at least I wanted to, like, you know, she's actually, like, she works for NASA or something or something crazy that I'm like, oh, wow, that's yeah. actually, I've taken yeah. something away from Like, that. middle name being Tasmania for me, like, that definitely wet my palate. Yeah. But that got me that got me salivating, but then that yeah. was it. Well, yeah. well that's, that's, that's all well, she wrote. <laughs> yeah, too bad there's no other hit to play tomorrow so you can do <laughs> oh, facts. Oh, she had Do you want to do the follow-up Wouldn't, wouldn't have thought so. I, I reckon oh. we put thongs Song versus Blink tomorrow morning. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Have you seen the video online of Britney Spears? No, no, not Dancing with Knives. We've all seen that one. Her audition tape for The Notebook. 
She auditioned to be the main role. Like the, the Rachel McAdams. Correct. Rachel McAdams' role in The Notebook. Wow. Circa 2004. If you haven't seen it, this is a little bit. For seven years, no matter what I did, I couldn't get you out of my mind. And then and then I met Luhan and I told him I'd marry him and I, and I want to marry him. I really do. But then I saw your picture in the paper and I knew I had to see you again because we never really finished things. Not really. And now I'm here and it's like, I feel so much and all these adults that feelings have come back and I don't know, but I still love Lon and I, I'd never break off our marriage. I would never do that. But basically, all I want to do is crawl in a hole and stay there for the rest of my life. You tell me what I should do. Tell me. Should I leave before I make a freaking total mess of things or just, just stay here and absorb whatever time we have left together? Please tell me what should I do? Yeah, it's not the same, yeah, yeah. is it? No, it's, it's not. not doesn't quite have the same. No, because no. Rachel's like, you know, she goes, and then I saw that picture of you in the paper. Yeah, it's, and it's uh, beautiful yeah. with the rain, and it's gorgeous. To be fair, Ricky though, Spears standing on a pier, going, I don't know if I should leave him. No, <laughs> what should I do? Uh, should I freaking leave? Should I crawl in a hole? Not the same. <laughs> Can Rachel? Do toxic though. Yeah, yeah. No, so, yeah true. You know what I'm saying? True. I, don't know. I don't know. She's not Britney, bitch. Jeez, bit happening around the grounds on the weekend on the Cornfield Blues front. Um, yes, yes, Ben and Bell, another week, another week of me talking about the hit I wrote in five minutes. Oh, blues by the Cornfield. The Cornfield Blues um, uh, fans, Liam, are really are really getting around the song. Someone made a genius. I saw online yeah. someone yeah. made a genius, you know, like that breaks down all yeah. the lyrics. Like someone actually went to the effort of putting the Cornfield Blues lyrics online. Which I love. You should jump on board that and you should add like the thought process behind I should do one of those videos, lyrics. you know, with the like, yeah. yellow background. That would like, be oh. great. You know, tears on the Star Spangled Banner. So yeah. I was just thinking of an American man crying on the flag, you know, climbing for his nation and crying would, for his people. I would love to see that. I also saw online um, somebody made uh, like an album or a yeah. single cover. Yeah, yeah. I think I think some promo shots need to happen this week. Yep. Um, yeah, because they were using a promo shot from like 2017. Yeah, so. no, I probably need to go out on a tractor and get some photos done for sure. Chelsea was their name that made that. Um, shout out to them. It's you standing in a cornfield with a cowboy hat on yep. and there's a bottle of whiskey. Yeah, but That's the bottle awesome. of whiskey is like like three feet away, it's just sitting. Yeah, on the- it's, it's very crudely photoshopped. Yeah, yeah. But potentially, there's room for a real uh, for a real album cover. And um, uh, you, you may not have heard this on Friday, but DJ Scudder from Nova Nation, who works here in the building, um, he did some some new mixes. He uh, turned the country song that I wrote in five minutes to prove how easy and simple country music is into a hard style banger. <laughs> was out on the club circuit this weekend. We are getting sent videos. This is from Harlow in Richmond. <laughs> What's going on? It's heaving. <laughs> like, I, I frequent Harlow a bit. I, I don't know what people would be thinking on the day floor with well, that. You know, I don't, even, like, I don't even... think you hear the words. You just like the bass line. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You know, is he singing about corn and fields <laughs> and blues? What's he talking about? Crying on the Star Spangled Banner? Well, I had a cute little moment yesterday. So I was away for the weekend. I was back in Adelaide, my, mm. my Bucks show. And, and when I got home, Sarah, she was, in, she was in the kitchen. And she was like just singing and just like in her, in her own little world. Um, so, I, so I got my phone out and I, and I started recording. Have a listen. <laughs> Do the do, 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 she broke my ticker. Something, something. Goodbye, the confound. You gotta, you gotta oh send her the genius link. <laughs> Dude, it's an earworm. I'm telling you. It's a hit. That is so cute. People, they're singing it in the kitchen. They're, they're playing it in the nightclubs. It's 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 doing big things, I'm telling you. Uh, Rachel actually texted in and said, I can't even find it on Spotify yet, Liam. Yeah, it's not on Spotify yet, Rachel. Um, <clears throat> it's a marketing uh, thing. We're just building height. <laughs> just wanting, I don't you think know. that's how the industry Yeah, you know, you it. sort of you just let it vacuum effect. You just l- let people wait. Um, that and also there has been some legalities in the back end of Cornfield Blues. And I, I try and protect you guys from this stuff. I try <laughs> and protect you, you guys from this you, stuff. What do you but, mean? You know, I suppose if we really want to get into the nitty gritty. Um, yes, because it is a song that I wrote in five minutes. 
Um, I may have sung it mm. over um, some some YouTube music that isn't royalty free. In fact, if you type in um, country bed music, I think it's like the third thing that comes up. So because of That's that, theft. Yeah, well, at the, th- <laughs> at the time, I didn't know it was going to be such a hit, did I? Oh, I thought no. we were just writing a quick song. So because it's not my original, right? So it's my lyrics, but it's not necessarily my music. Um, so the thing is. What we've got to do now, before we put it on Spotify, is we've got to pay someone else to make it sound almost identical <laughs> yeah. to that. What? But it has to be like... Yeah. Liam's version, Cornfield yeah, Blues. Yeah, basically, <laughs> we have to do like a Taylor's version of it, and we've got to pay for that. And then once we do that, then we can put it on Spotify, because then we won't be But penalized. it won't sound the same. Yeah, it'll, it'll be, be ever it'll, so slightly. Yeah. Like, to to the tra- untrained ear, you'd barely be able to pick up. Who are, gonna, who are you going to get to record it? Um, so DJ Scarter from Nova Nation, um, he knows a guy Seems who like can he do does it. All of it. He does like c- cashies though. This guy. Right. So I was actually meaning to ask you guys about that as well, but like, for your budget. Yeah, like it's like five hundred, six hundred. I guess you will probably also get royalties from the song. That's the Spotify. thing. We'll probably make that back really quickly. As you said, people like dear people like Rachel who yeah. are texting the you know text yeah. line. They you know they want it. I, I I'll, I'll give it the green tick. Big. Yeah, well, I've given it the green tick, so that's two. Doesn't matter what else is there. Yeah, I suppose you're, you're, you can you can be all for it or all against it. Or I mean, I'm not going to stop you when your career is just taking off. Well, so hey, we got you doing okay. cameos earlier in the year. Mm-hmm. The I enemy. will not be doing that again for this. No, 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 I, no, I no. I am not a cameo horse that just goes out and does that for you. I thank God you said horse, horse there. I thought you were going to say something else. I was like, oh, dear oh. me. <laughs> Dear me. Um, no, cameo horse. Okay. Good. No, Liam, I appreciate the peek behind the curtain. Yep. yep. Um, I like to know um, how the sausage is made. So well, that's it. And so, look, there's so you've well, been, when the sausage so, is stolen from someone yeah. else. And so put Liam it out. stole the sausage from YouTube. He didn't pay for the rights. Well, so he's yeah, re recording it. I would, say, I would say the meat of the sausage. Uh, my lyrics, my lyrical content is that that's all me. Yep. The skin of the sausage has been taken from YouTube. <laughs> plagiarized. Sure. It's been plagiarised and it's not you know not royalty free, so it should be playing royalties every time we played it there, really. So we are in the wrong. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get it on the right track. Don't you we worry, guys. We to fix that. Instead. I reckon, mm, give it 48 hours, we should have Liam's Wow, yeah. that's quick. Uh, good luck for the VCEs, English exam this morning. Um, you know, if it doesn't go well... Um, well, no, that's pretty much life over if it doesn't go well. No, yep. No. I'm joking. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Like, you just, you do your best, but at the end of the day, you know. Yeah. No, you're right, Liam. You're right. It doesn't matter. Of course it doesn't to you, Ben. You didn't do it. <laughs> well, yeah, we were in the same position, Bill. It's true. Yes, 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 yes. No, three hours for three In fact, I'm more well is... off. <laughs> <laughs> Some would say. It's true. Well, no, it need, no, no need to bring up the contract. Yes, yes, no. Look at look at the pace. I was waiting for it. Oh, okay. Got you. <laughs> that was Taylor Swift. And look, I'll I'll be honest, um, I almost died from the cringe. Um, did you see her video doing the rounds overnight of her at the football game ah, doing the secret handshake? The handshake. Yes. With Patrick yeah. Mahomes' wife. Yes, Brittany Mahomes. I think we all died of the cringe. It's it's mm. bad. If you haven't seen it, like, it's annoying because, it, yeah, it's very visual. Like, it's the like handshake a, is... It's a, it's a, so you've got, you know, uh, you, so you put your hand out, someone puts their hand out, and you, back the back of the, you bump the back of the hand twice, mm-hmm. and then you grab, and then you hip bump. Ugh. But it's so it's so it's, white and it's so American. <laughs> it was like they're in the box and the camera goes to them and I'm guessing I think it was after a goal I don't know I don't know footy yeah. and uh, yeah they're celebrating and then they do it and it's almost like they've sat down and gone okay what can we do when the camera's on us that mm. will get people talking let's do a handshake and, uh, yeah. the yeah. worst part is at some point whether they did it for PR or they didn't do it for PR at some point they practiced it you know what yes. I mean like yep. away from yep. cameras. Behind closed doors, they yeah. practiced that horrible, horrible look, handshake. I'm sure I'll, I'll, you know, I'll jump on the hype train um, early next year, which is here. And at, at the risk of uh, the tarp being rolled out and me being um, killed and taken away from the powers that be at Nova. Don't do it. Oh, don't, 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 don't do it. Don't. No, no, no. no, no. She's, no. she's starting to wear on me a bit. <laughs> A bit over oh. a bit over Taylor. I'm sorry. You can't and say I, that. I'm sorry. I know I can't say that, but like I'm just a bit sick of seeing her everywhere all the time. The crazy thing about Tay Tay is Do you know what I mean? I feel like we all think it. Yeah. But we don't get it. You know what I mean? Like we all think like, I don't understand what the hype is around that. I don't get it. Don't say that. Well you think it, Bill. I don't say it.
Yeah. Hey, if you if you get it, if you hundred percent get it, and you've been a bit offended this morning by listening to us, and I know um, normally this is a Tay Tay safe station, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we're playing a lot of cards. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah it's, it's just pre it's pre seven. Yeah, and we're talking. I don't think it works like that. Yeah, but if if you're like if you if you're upset and you want to defend Taylor, um, by all means, the phone lines are always open thirteen yeah. twenty four ten. But I, all I'm saying is it's starting to get a bit much. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's just how I feel, and I hope I've well, still got it's a job. Been great. I just hope with I've you. still got a job tomorrow. <laughs> There's a new game out at the moment. You've probably seen the billboard, Sam Kerr up there, mm-hmm. driving into work. EA Sports FC 24. Football is yours. Available everywhere now. Uh, ben, you've started playing EA FC 24. Mm-hmm. And you're sort of like the PlayStation guy. You, you play a lot of games. You always have. Yep. But I have been playing this game since 2003. Since Roberto Carlos, Ryan Giggs and Edgar Davies were on the cover. That's 20 plus years. And it annoyed me last week when you said that you thought... Do you remember what you said? You said you thought you could beat me at EAFC 24. I think my words were, Liam, I'd smoke you. <laughs> yeah. I'd smoke you. Which is you. actually a joke. Because, look, yeah, yeah, you are better at games. You play a lot of games. But yeah. this is, like, the only game I've ever played in yeah. my life. I just don't think you can undersell someone like myself who naturally just will take to a game and a controller. And I understand how games work. But I think you're too... I think you're too into it. Yeah, but I think you... it's because it's the only game you've ever played, you're short-sighted. Mm, you no, don't realise that, yeah. that you're beatable. I think you're very beatable. Dude, you probably don't even know how to body faint. <laughs> right? Yeah, I do. How do you do it? Right stick twist. Okay, well, actually, he does know how to body faint. It's pretty impressive. What's a body faint? Mate, it's easy. All you do, all you do is you press start, you go to the um, like the controller layout, yeah. you memorise all the things, and then you just do it. What about Elastica Chop Right? I don't know what that one is. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. Probably <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even know how to do a Rabona. <laughs> what? A Rabona. A bo- what was what? the first one you said? The Elastico Chop, right? What's that? Uh, so it's like it's like a skill move. It's like you need a five star skill for it, but it's a whole thing. Okay. Matter. Liam just back kicked in the studio. You just. Well, he, here's the thing. Ball. Ben. ben He's unlike me. He he doesn't have a football mind. And I got that dog in me. But it's not an I actual would, game. Dude, of football. I'll give it's just him a video smoke. Game. Yeah, I know, but you still need to understand how the game works no, you and just the layout of some buttons. Oh my god. Okay. You guys have clearly I, no idea. I would no. say that Ben could probably beat you. Are you Thank for real? You, Bill. He's, Thank you, Bill. he's actually just... He just I've been playing it for twenty years. Doesn't matter, mate. I used to watch my brothers play. What that, I could do. Okay, it. well here's the thing. This is I what I watch my brothers play all the time. Don't be silly, Bill. What if what what buttons shoot? Probably A. Well, no, because we're not talking about Xbox. We're talking about Mario Kart. We're actually on the wrong console. Wrong console. That's so oh, funny. Oh, it's an X, isn't it? No, that's how you pass. Oh my god, lol. Square. Uh, no. Triangle. God, no, this is literally the last option. That's Circle. That's Thruble. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Ben's See, been yeah, playing no, a little bit. No, here's the thing. I know the symbols. Here's the thing. The new game's out, right? And to celebrate, we're gonna have. A game off. So, what I challenge you to, Ben, mm-hmm. this Thursday, I want to do a live stream. I'll bring in the PS5. Mm-hmm. It's you v me. Okay? And uh, you you can pick whose side you want to be on. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you go on Ben's side and he wins, it's not going to happen. But you could score yourself 2000 bucks plus your very own PS5. Mm-hmm. And if you choose to be on my team and I win, then you could win yourself 2000 bucks. And then, and then what if they choose to be on my team? Yeah, if someone well, picks you, Bill. If someone picks can I, you, can you I play? Win. You can I mean, play. You can. I mean, it'd be good to get some warm-up games in, I suppose. <laughs> but like, yeah. yeah, before the main event. You just run and you kick it. I'd love to. I'd love to have you involved. But can I please? Yeah, no, you can absolutely. You can yeah, you can play. But so, look, so, so, so this is a thing. We're going to do this Thursday. So register your details via the Nova Player app. Yeah. Um, or you can give us a call thirteen twenty four ten mm-hmm. and and tell us who you think will win. I, I've got to say now though, like. Enter with caution because I, I'm saying genuinely, anyone who doesn't pick to be on my team may as well not enter because you're not going to win the prize. Like I, I, I already know I'll win. It's just, it's just a matter of when. This is the highlight of my career that we have gotten this radio show to a point where we're playing video games, yeah. and listeners can win cash. Yeah, I know. Like, how is that a job? You know what? And I think if people watch the live stream on Thursday, we'll just give another like, another PS5 away. Do we, have, are, a, do we have, yeah. have another PS5 We've got two to PS5s away? to give away. So what? thanks to our, our good mates at EA Sports FC 24, football is yours, available everywhere now. So in a nutshell, all three of us are going to play EA Sports FC 24. Mm-hmm. We're going to stream it on Thursday night. If you watch the stream, you could win a PS5. Mm-hmm. And if you pick the winning team, you could also win 2000 bucks cash and your own PS5. Yeah. 
it's a, cool. it's a great deal. Um, oh, my I, can't wait to win. Well, yeah. Oh, my right. God. It's, yeah, it's... Just pick me, guys. If you if you if you, if you know what, if you know what's right yeah, for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if everybody picks you, and then you've got a bigger like backing from people. If you if I if you pick me, and but I'm you're not like two win, people though. backing me, and do then I do mean? win. Yeah. Then you've got more chance. Though. Or if you yeah. just want to pick the person that's actually going to win, the person who actually plays video games for their entire life, then pick me, Ben, and you'll get that two grand and a PlayStation Five. Ash, who do you think would win? Just going with your gut, knowing what you know about the show, if it was me versus Liam and Bell, who would win playing EA Sports FC24? Who would win? Um, I'm going to say you, Ben. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know, I know he plays games, but it doesn't matter. If he's been playing the game for a week, he's not going to be as good as me. Yeah, and I know nothing about the games you just spoke about. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but he plays like Zelda and like nerd games. No like, I, play, I play sport games, you know. Yeah. Well, look, people are calling up and they're already picking their team. As we said, if you pick the right team, NovaFM.com.au, you can register all via the Nova Player app. You can win 2000 bucks cash plus your very own PS5. Tanya in Cranbourne, whose team do you want to be on? Ben's, myself or Bell's? Uh, Liam. Yeah, thanks, right. Tanya. Yeah, I got that mumba mentality you picked right there. Natalie and Melton, I'm going to tear Ben apart. I'm not even going to consider what <laughs> I'm going to do to Bell. I mean, it's just going to be a bloodbath, but... Um, what, what, what do you think, Nat? Who, whose team would you like to be on? And, and choose wisely because $2,000 in PS5 could be yours. Definitely Ben. Yes, thank yeah. you very much. But, like, he's not played... He started the game, like, a few weeks ago. Like, I play Ultimate Team. Doesn't like, matter, I'm I, a natural. Could you imagine... Ultimate Team. Could you imagine if we get to Thursday night and we're doing the stream and no one's picked Bell? Yeah, why is there only two callers here? Where's the third? Where's the one that says, <laughs> oh, I'm going to pick Bell? Yeah, I, I reckon you, you, you... So you, you've probably never even made foot champs, for starters. What foot champs? Yeah, div, div rivals like you get to a thing called foot what champs. Is this language? So, if you, so it's like it's like the elite players on the weekend, and you play like twenty on games the week. What you play weekend, on the weekend? Yeah, like weekend league, and then you've got to win the like hell? twenty games. It was a Monday league. What Look, if you want to get involved, you can always register on the Nova FM website, <laughs> NovaFM.com.au. Also, if you want to call. Thirteen, twenty-four, ten. If anyone wants to be on Bell's team, yeah. she's not going to win. I reckon, I, honestly, you're back I reckon, on the wrong horse. I, I reckon, honestly, even if we did four-minute halves and I was Adelaide United, I'd probably put like at least thirty past you. Like I'm not, I'm not <laughs> yeah, even kidding. You're, you're Real Madrid. <laughs> uh, you, you could be Barca and I could be like Melbourne Victory, and I would absolutely torch you. So true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's ready for some brand new music on Nova on your Tuesday morning from Pink? <gasps> Pink. 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 And Marshmallow, Marshmallow, Marshmallow. Pink and, sorry, Pink and Marshmallow. And Sting. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard a more Motley crew? That is, yeah, that's like in an exec room. They're like, give me an artist from the 80s. Sting for the police. Who's a new hot one? That sounds like they were spinning a giant wheel <laughs> with random artists and they got Pink, Marshmallow and Sting. Literally, <laughs> Sting could be Pink's dad and Pink could be Marshmallow's mum. Yeah. That, that, they're, yeah. they're spanning. They're like, we want to get everyone. We want the kids. We want the oldies. We want everything in between. Yep. And you know what? It's going to be a banger, I bet. When it's set and done, I'll keep holding on, even in silence. If I can hear your voice through all of the noise. Yeah. Yeah. Paris Hilton has uploaded a photo that has broke the internet. She posted a photo of her baby on Instagram. And the internet has done what the internet does and had an absolute field day at her baby's expense because he has um, a head that some people would deem extremely large. And that, and you know, babies grow into their heads. Yep. You know, some babies have big bodies and little heads and their heads grow into their body. I mean, it's just, I don't know. I'm not a dad like you, Mm. but I'm just... You see, baby. You see, I. You know, I've seen really fat babies. I'm like, wow, they're so fat. And it's mm. like, no, that's just they're really healthy. They'll yep. go into that. That's yep. good. Yeah, they're good stock. Yeah, and so, <clears throat> um, she's uploaded this photo. Um, you know, holding her baby. Um, and I guess probably just looking for praise, but she hasn't got praise. Oh no. And you know, the internet can be very nasty. Um, and this is this this poor baby Phoenix is his name. He can't defend himself against these internet trolls. This is just some of the stuff people are saying. Sydney Jamison said, if you don't paint that baby blue for Halloween, it'll be a missed opportunity. Liam, that's not funny. Don't laugh, Liam. Obviously referencing Megamind. The film Megamind, yes. 
That adds, that is awful. Casey Hank one two one said he can only wear shirts that button up. That's awful. Big yeah. Rig Roger. Oh, Big Rig. I didn't realize Pinky in the Brain was getting a live action remake. Awful. That's terrible. Elliot Mann. Looking at you, Elliot Mann. I loved him in X Men. Chris Cronk. That baby's got a lot on its mind. Big Bridge. Paris Hilton's baby won't see all of your mean comments making fun of him online, but he'll read him, he'll read your thoughts when you think about writing one. <laughs> Horrible people. Not not acceptable. <laughs> just, really a, just a poor baby, you know. Nothing wrong with the baby, he's just got a bit of a big head. The baby is totally fine. Yeah. Dave McName said it's no, a- no. <laughs> Dave McName said, it's a shame you'll miss his first steps because you'll levitate. <laughs> very creative, though. You've got to admit some of them. Very people creative. Very creative. Horrible people. That's, um, yeah. Just... That... <laughs> okay. Well. Mm. 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 Okay. That's sad. <laughs> Below rider, see ya, wild ones. Good morning. You are here with Ben, Liam, and Bell, Melbourne. Thirteen twenty four ten. What happened on your muck up day? Uh, muck up days across Melbourne, across Victoria, all the last kind of week or so. Um, a few schools have been popping up in the news for bad reasons for what they've been doing on muck up day. Uh, one being Camberwell High. Uh, They got the police called on them. A few others got in trouble for just causing havoc. But no one did it as much as Footscray. Footscray High School are in the news today because end of last week, they had their muck-up day. Mm. And about a a few of the students, about 10 apparently, spread on the walls lubricant and Vegemite and threw gallons of beanbag balls around the school. Oh, those things are impossible to clean up. That's the worst. Like, it's it's like snow on the yeah. school. Yeah. Those now, things those things never break down as well. They're in the environment forever. Oh, it's yeah, awful. For sure. that, yeah, that's my first thought is mm. like horrendous for the environment. Yeah. But this isn't new. Like, you know, everyone's going, oh, these kids, and they're filming it for TikTok. And, mm. uh, and then all the kids, the, there was like 180 kids in the cohort that all had to miss a whole like presentation ceremony and go around the school at, on their hands and knees and pick up these balls. Mm. But this has been around forever. Like, this is muck up day. There's the old classic, oh, yeah, cow up the stairs because cows can't walk downstairs. I don't, I don't know if that's ever actually happened. Mm. But if anyone could get hear. a cow upstairs, I would be shocked. You get a cow upstairs. How? You just push it up. Well, it depends on the cow, but a lot of cows would probably walk upstairs willingly. Yeah, right. Uh, getting they... them down does seem like it'd be tricky. Yeah, right. Mm. I feel like there's always the, um, isn't there that tale of like, oh, you put the principal's car up like on top of stairs as well? I don't know. If that <laughs> that, that seems well. trickier. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, know, I, know, I, I know you, I know you <laughs> said one. the cow thing was hard. They, cows do have four legs. Maybe um, I'm mixing two together that I've heard. Think, yeah, I've definitely yeah. heard, like, there's all the, oh, you should do this, you should do that. I know, I know uh, if you get enough people, especially year 12s, you could get enough year 12s to lift the principal's car and turn it sideways. Yeah, you could probably do that, knock it on the side, for yeah. sure. Or oh, just or bread it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breading's pretty, you know, harmless. Yep. Ash What's Gardner that? in the newsroom, it's just when you put lots of bread on the car. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah, but it's like not, you know, it's not really yeah. scratching it up or anything. Ash Gardner, did anything happen at your school? Back um, on I remember in my sister's year level, there were some pigs released onto the school grounds. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, is it the, one, the numbered, the old numbered yeah, trick? Yeah, so my sister, my sister graduated in 03, so one pig was labelled 01, another 02, mm-hmm. Um, the girls had 03 on the backs of je- their jumpers and yep. then another pig was 04. Yeah, over mm. the third pig. I, That's really sad. I never, <laughs> I never made it into year 12, but I know at my high school um, a bunch of kids broke into the ag sheds, um, which is where like the chickens and stuff were, and also where they kept all the equipment, like all the, the garden equipment, and they stole like a jerry can of petrol and then they poured it, so there was like an oval. Obviously, there's the footy oval. Literally did this at my school. Did they? Big penis. Big penis. 
Yeah, well, that's what we did at our school. That creative. So yeah, but <laughs> you, don't, creative, you don't have to but... light it. But if you just put the fuel on there, it just like kills the grass off. So oh, honestly, oh. my school lit it. Okay, yeah, we didn't so that's light the difference it. between your but, schools. Is yeah. well, yeah, but there's. A, I still think on uh, Google um, Earth, like, if you can go, you can click back to like 2013. There's a giant. Penis. <laughs> Isn't it funny? That. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. And it, our, ours was like, like almost like, t- like the whole cricket field long, and then it like bent around. <laughs> it was like on a right angle sort of. Um, but you know, it, and and some people take it too far. Yeah, and you know. You would say, you know, possibly that's probably taking it a little too far. When mm. the police are called, normally it's like, oh, okay, you know, there's there's <laughs> there's a bit of fun mucking up, and then there's like, oh, there's a crime that's been committed yeah. here. Yeah. Thirteen twenty four ten. Did they maybe take it a little, little too far at your school? What happened on muck up day, Bonnie in Preston? Tell us, uh, did they take muck up day a little too far at your school? Well, this is a long time ago, 1998. I doubt mm. it would happen now. But mm. we actually organised with the police to come and arrest our boarding house master in the final year, <laughs> final boarding house dinner. Oh, they, what, they rocked up what do you mean? halfway through the dinner yeah. and um, walked up to his table and asked him if, if he was he and mm. then put him in handcuffs and t- took him into the divvy van. But they knew it block. wasn't real? Yeah. Or did you say, oh, he's actually, you know, killed someone? I don't know. No, no, no. They they participated because we told them we wanted to pull a prank. Yeah, oh, gotcha. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, gotcha. You didn't have to like plant yeah. something on his yeah. laptop yeah, or like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's still in prison now. Yeah. No, yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, well, yeah, that's true. That's just 90s cops having a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll arrest you, principal, for you, yeah, whatever. Uh, Joe in Deer Park, what happened to Muck Update at your school? Look, they told us we couldn't do anything crazy to all the younger kids, so we decided to put an ad in the paper the week before leading up to Muck Up Day, and we got all the local papers and put an ad in and put the, the whole school building up for sale. We said it was no longer <laughs> going to be a school, and we gave the principal's number because she had the direct <laughs> number back then. Yeah, yeah And nice. uh, they rang him all day. <laughs> wow, that's very that's good. good. Just fun, just practical fun. Uh, Michelle, Airport West, tell us what happened at your school. Uh, did it Did it get a little crazy? Uh, yeah, this was when I just got to high school, so it was many years above, like a few years b- above mm. me. Um, but the the year twelves made a cow poo bomb in a green wheelie bin and blew it up in the middle out middle night, like in the middle of the night. And we all came to school the next morning with cow poo everywhere. What's a cow poo bomb? Like just a, a bin full of methane, cow poo? It's methane. Yeah, man, yeah, it's full what? of methane gas. So and it, it exploded. Up. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just a poo bomb. <laughs> poo bomb. Yeah, yeah, that, that's starting to get a little bit like, ooh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's starting to get a bit illegal. At least they released the poo bomb at night, you know. Wasn't yeah. The poo yeah. bomb wasn't wheeled yeah. into the assembly or something like that in the <laughs> oh, morning. You know, that would have been a lot worse. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.